What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. So on today's episode, we are talking about some more boots. This is another episode in chasing the best work footwear. So I have received these Rock Rooster Farland boots. Uh, Rock Rooster sent them to me for review and we are going to do initial unboxing. So I've already taken these out of the package and I'm gonna go over some talking points. We're gonna try them on. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think. And then what you will have to look forward to in the future is a video with at least a thou or <laughs> at least one million steps in these boots. So these are their hiking boots, and I'm really, really impressed with the fit and finish. As soon as you open the box, Rock Rooster has already prepared you for the future with an extra set of laces. So I don't know how many times I've tried to source a different lace or a replacement lace for a boot that has has otherwise worn a pair out and then you never find the exact lace that you want or the right length it's always a pain in the butt so rock rooster a great thumbs up for providing an extra set of laces so you don't have to think about that in the future so these inevitably just go in a boot cleaning box that I have and are uh, sometimes labeled so that I know exactly what boot they go to so Carrying on to the actual boot itself. When you get them out of the box, these things look awesome. Uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, they look really cool. They feel awesome. They're not overall heavy. This is a nice uh, hiking boot right out of the box. Um, it even has Goodyear on the side. So they use Goodyear, uh, uh, Goodyear leather uh, in the boot and the sole. Uh, and I can only assume that they're going to hold up for many years to come. So they have their HydroGuard technology, which is, this means it's a waterproof boot um, all the way up to uh, right here on the, to uh, on the tongue of it. So a lot of boots, I've always noticed that you don't have waterproof up to basically the heel of the boot. Uh, in the tongue area. So there's always a compromise where they have stopped this waterproofing, but what I've always noticed with Rock Rooster is they come all the way up to uh, the line here where they're waterproofed. It's a nice touch that a lot of other manufacturers overlook. So I like the little, the uh, buckles on here that hold the laces. They are very nice. Um, the memory foam, I've always been impressed with Rock Rooster's uh, memory foam insoles on their other boots that I've tried. Uh, they are very comfortable. I can only imagine that these are going to be just as good. So I'm looking forward to getting some miles on these things and just see how they uh, walk out. Um, very, very good uh, insole there. It even has a nice thick, I'll roll in a picture here, even a nice uh, thick little button where the heel of your foot will fall. So th they have added that protection um, or that comfort in the heel of the boot. Nice touch. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna weigh these because some people are interested in the weight of each boot, some people aren't, but for those of you who are interested in just how much each boot weighs, one pound, seven ounces. So combined, you're wearing two pounds, 14 ounces. I can tell you that from experience, this is lighter than most six and eight inch boots uh, on the market. These two combined are lighter than one boot of a lot of six and eight inch uh, variations and a lot of other companies. So I can, I don't have another uh, set of boots out here, but I can tell you that the Timberland Pro Gridworks weighs, one boot weighs more than both of these combined. So these are gonna be like uh, absolutely nothing on my feet and they should feel great and less fatigue is always the name of the game. So um, now I originally wanted to try these for snow removal season because they are waterproof and they are grippier than most of my wedge sole boots. So I'm really, really curious to see how these hold up to the salt and snow. Uh, obviously they're a hiking boot, so they're designed to put up with that kind of torture. So I'm really excited to see what the future holds for these boots. Without further ado, let's try them on. You can see what they look like on my feet and we'll wrap this video up. So 
So these boots are extremely comfortable from the moment I put them on. Um, you can actually feel the heel padding in these. Uh, very nice addition on these bad boys. Um, I did not lace them all the way to the top because once I did that and put it to the last lug, it was a little tight on my ankle here. So I wanted to have a little bit of flexibility here when I'm flexing like this and not have to uh, basically bend the boot forward. So I wanna take these outside and try these on a hillside. Um, it's a little wet out right now, so we're going to see how it goes, but I'm gonna climb a little bit of um, rough terrain with these, just see how well they grip and how they feel on a more trail type for the first unboxing video. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you on this steep incline here um, just how well these boots work. Um, pretty much every other set of boots that I have um, would not be able to just climb this hill of ivy, especially when it's nice and wet. So I really like the performance of these boots initially. Um, I see nothing but good things in the future. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you look forward to the 1 million step update in these boots. We'll see how they shake out. Um, if they're anything like my other Rock Roosters, they've held up very well, and they are definitely still the most comfortable boot that I've had on my foot from the very beginning with no break-in. So that's a really important aspect about Rock Rooster. I really love that about their boots, and you know, I think these will absolutely uh, shine when it comes to the purpose that I want them for. So if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And we'll see you guys in the next video.